Hey guys, how y'all doing? And, guys, I want you to explain something to me. And to the world. And no, and no seriously, I'm not kidding about any of this. What I'm about to say is 100% true, but it's also, as a certain someone, as the, as the person I'm about to bring up says, it's bullshit. What am I talking about? Well, you know how recently in a, here in the U.S. there was, say, an election? Hmm? Okay, good. Now you guys are starting to figure out where I'm going with this. And anyway, what happened is a bunch of online lunatics went after a certain content creator here on YouTube for a video he made this many years ago. That's right. A video he made back in 2016. These online lunatics are going after this person. And this person has been on YouTube since 2006, I think. I think. Let's just say he's had to change his name like, he's had to change his character name like one time. That's right. I think we all kind of know who I'm talking about. And let's just say this person um has done nothing wrong. No. He hasn't. First of all, did any of you online psychos even watch that damn video? No, seriously, did you? Did that video mention politics or any of that bullshit even once? No, it didn't. It didn't mention any of that shit. Fuck you. And if you don't like it, kiss my ass. I don't care. People, I think you kind of know where I'm going with this, right? And I think you know who I'm talking about, too. Let's just say this person um, has a website that he, that he runs called Cinemasker.com. And I think you know who I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm talking about... Um, person who's reviewed games like Ghostbusters, Top Gun, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yeah, I think you guys kind of know who I'm talking about. Anyway, 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 anyway. This person apparently is being blamed for what happened recently in, in our election here in the U.S. For that very video he made eight years ago. You heard me right, people. A video he made eight goddamn years ago, he's being blamed for, for what happened in the, in the recent election. You heard me right, people. You heard me right. This is blatant proof that these morons have no idea what they're doing, and they're basically saying, oh, it's his fault because he wouldn't go see Ghostbusters 2016. That's right. You guys know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about one person. That's right. And it's not me I'm talking about. It's not me. Nope. <sighs> I'm talking about Mr. James Rolfe, the angry video game nerd himself. Yeah, that's right. Because of that video he made back in 2016, basically saying, I refuse to see Ghostbusters 2016, no review. Uh, wait a minute. In that video, did he mention anything about politics in that video anywhere? No, seriously, did he? If I recall correctly from that video, 
He mentioned politics exactly this many times. Never. He never mentioned it. Zero. So to all you online psychos out there, fuck you. I don't care what you think, and I don't care what you say. Your opinion is not to be taken seriously one bit. No, it's not. First of all, you're going after someone who made a video in 2016 saying he was not going to go see Ghostbusters 2016. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? I ain't seen that movie either. Because that movie frankly sucked. That movie fucking sucked. First of all, it wasn't funny. The plot makes no sense. The story's boring. The characters are boring. Nothing in that movie is any bit fun. So, you guys are going to blame a person because they didn't go see Ghostbusters 2016 at all? Frankly, I'd rather watch the original Ghostbusters movie myself over that piece of crap. Yeah. Frankly, I I think 20 I think 2016 Ghostbusters should be wiped off the face of the earth and should be considered never happened. And it should be deemed it never happened. It was a mistake. We fucked up. We know we fucked up, and we'll never do it again. Okay? Alright. Yes, again, let me repeat this once again for those of you who, haven't, who don't get it. James Rolfe is being blamed for what happened in our recent elections here in the U.S. Yeah, because of that video he made eight Goddamn years ago. You heard me right, people. If you didn't hear me because of a video he made back in 2016, people are blaming him because of what happened recently. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? No, what people are saying that he had it, that he that basically this is his fault. That's a shitload of fuck. Oh yeah, that's bullshit. Cause how is it his fault that what happened in our recent poll in our recent elections happened? How is that his fault? I want someone. To, I want someone out there to tell me. How it's one bit his fault that this happened. No, seriously. I want someone to tell me, because I can think of exactly this many reasons how it's his fault. It isn't. So to James I say, don't worry about it, man. Don't let these don't let these idiot don't let these idiots get to you, man. You keep making videos, you keep doing what you're doing, man. And I say don't let them get to you no matter what. And if it does start to get to you, walk away for a while. And then come back when the heat dies down, man. And if so, you know what you should do? You should make it so that way, if you have to walk away for a while, make it so that way the fans... Can, can watch the videos that you make. And then and then that way they can see if you were telling the... That way, so then that way... Oh, and make it so that way people can actually watch that video. And people, I do encourage you to go watch that video. I believe it's called Ghostbusters 2016 I Refuse No Review, I think it's called. Maybe it's available on the Cinemassacre YouTube channel. I don't know. It's like the video that basically, you know, caused this whole mess to happen in the first place. So, to all of you out there who basically are wondering, why am I talking about this? 
I just thought maybe I'd throw my two cents in, you know? Basically saying that these people, these people need help. They're crazy. And that they're not to be taken seriously and not to be taken, and their words are not to be taken as anything more than complete nonsense. Than the ramblings of a complete nutcase. Yeah. That's all there is to it, people. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys think these people, do you think he, anyone who's basically saying that it's his fault needs to be, you know, removed from the internet forever? And needs to be shut down for good. Yeah. I do. Because I do. To be honest with you. I've had enough of this nonsense. This is exactly what I figured was going to happen. See guys. This is what happens. When PG and PC culture takes over. Nothing good comes of it. And this is why I say to it. Exactly. Fuck you. So, to all of you out there, may all of you may all of you do the best you can. You know, treat each other right. And guys, if anyone says anything on on the internet, don't always believe them because what they're saying might actually be complete bullshit. Okay. Now, what I'm saying here is the truth. That basically what these people need to do is they need to be stopped. This nonsense needs to end. And they need to and those people need to just go away. Forever. Alright? Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, and I hope you did, um, you know, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Share your thoughts on the share your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Share the video around for those who want to see or those who have never heard of this channel. And if you haven't, welcome aboard. And if you have, you know, glad glad to have you back. You know, click the bell to be notified for future videos. And this is the most important one of all, guys. Do not forget to subscribe for more of me. In these videos, you shall see. And until next time, my friends, be good, behave, and most of all, stay loose, my friends. Alright? Alright.